and I am back. I know it's been a while, but I plan to be back here on YouTube making more content for you and bringing you more videos. Today I want to talk about the three scariest books that I've ever read. These are just some of my favorites. I definitely have a ton more that I need to read that are on my list to read. So I'd love to hear from you in the comment section if you've read other books that are super creepy and scary and just make your skin crawl. I would love to hear about them. These are in no particular order, so with that, let's get started. The first book I want to talk about is Hell House by Richard Madison. He is the writer of I Am Legend, a book I have not read yet, but this book was absolutely scary. It scared the shit out of me. Haunted Houses, it's been done plenty of times and only a few times is it actually done successfully. This is one of those times. So if you are into horror books, horror movies, you need to check this book out. This book is roughly about 300 pages. I read this book in a single day. I actually read it in one day, only taking bio breaks and breaks to eat. It's not cheesy and it comes off very realistic although there are supernatural elements to it, which makes it really scary. I plan to reread this book, which does say a lot because there's so many books out there I have not read. And as you all know, reading books takes time. It's really the best way to spend your time, right? Hell House is one of my top reads. Absolutely pick this up. Wendy, darling, light of my life, I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm just gonna back your brains in. That brings me to the next book, The Shining, by the king of horror, Stephen King. With a quote like that, how can you not read this book? When I was reading this book, I was actually afraid while reading it. I would read it alone in a break room, and when I was alone, I would actually look around because I was so creeped out. If you haven't read The Shining, absolutely do that because it will scare the shit out of you. The next book I'm going to talk about that scared the shit out of me was one that centers around a colorful, charismatic, joyful clown who just loves and adores children. And he loves to walk around with balloons as well. You guessed it, it. When a book forces you to keep your vomit down, you know you've found a winner. I'm not going to pretend that it was a quick and easy read to complete over a thousand pages of this bad boy right here. But it was well worth it. It's full of wonderfully disgusting and stomach-turning scenes that you will not forget. You might even dream of them. So if you haven't read any of these books and you're absolutely a diehard Stephen King, horror fan, thriller fan, gore fan, the list can go on, then you have to absolutely read these. They are some of my favorites. This was not intended to be a book review. This is not intended to exhaust the list of the scariest books of all time. These are books I've actually read that I love and I continued to think about them and I was actually scared while reading them. If you've read other books that are just super creepy, you'll never forget them and you were actually scared when reading them, please put them in the comment section. I would love to hear from you. And one last thing, I'm actually writing my very first book. It's a psychological thriller all about a cult and the dark and secretive things that go down inside of this cult. It's called Freedom House and it's all on my website for free. It's in beta draft form. I post chapters every week for you to read. All you gotta do is go to IamSerp.com and that's it. It is there for you right now. I would love for you to become a beta reader. If you want to email me with any comments, any questions about it, any feedback, you can find my contact info at my website, IamSerp.com. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will talk to you all very soon.